I do have a, an example of a case. It turns out this ended up as a chapter 13. Uh, the client came to see me, and, and during our first interview, first uh, meeting, I asked her if she had incurred any recent debt, and she said, yes, she had. I said, oh, okay, so uh, when was the last time you incurred any debt? She said, last month. And I said, um, about how much was that? She said, $60,000. Well, that uh, gave me pause. Uh, $60,000 to one creditor the month before we were meeting. I said, that's a great deal of money. Uh, if you file now, you will have your case blow up in your face. You absolutely need to wait a very long time and make payments on this debt. So um, we waited. We waited about 10 months. And then she called me up and said, I want to file my bankruptcy case. I said, that's nowhere near enough time. If we file now, you will face an adversary proceeding. That's what we call lawsuits in bankruptcy to challenge the discharge of that debt. And you will lose. She said, no, I want to file now. Well, my standard practice is if somebody is insisting on filing in spite of my advice, I will have that person sign an acknowledgement of risk where I lay out in detail, this is very likely what's going to happen, and you're instructing me to file this bankruptcy petition in spite of it. I'm telling you, don't do it. Well, okay, so we filed, and as sure as the sun rises in the east, she faced that adversary proceeding. And when she heard how much I would charge her, to defend her in that adversary proceeding. Of course, I had already let her know, but when I told her that, she said, oh, too much. And so she hired uh, some cut rate fellow and that cut rate fellow lost. And so when she emerged from her bankruptcy, that $60,000 debt was intact. So what I've learned out of that is I really lean on my clients if there is a, a need to age debts to say, look, I realize you're facing uh, emotional stress on this debt, but the emotional stress is not going to go away if the debt is not discharged. And so you need to wait. And patience is um, a virtue that is in short supply these days. And certainly if somebody has racked up a bunch of debt and uh, is facing lawsuits, patience is in particularly short supply in that person's mind. Uh, but you do have to think in the long term. Um, one other story I'll give you, and that is I had a fellow um, who wanted to do, do a Chapter 7, and uh, we started preparing his petition, and I asked him about any real property that he had. And he said, oh, yes, he had some real property. And he was uh, from the subcontinent, and uh, so he had that sort of lilting accent. I do like that accent, but in any event, uh, he said, um, yes, he had an, a house in the islands. He didn't tell me which islands they were, and I didn't really probe. I said, oh, really? Well, uh, how much is this house worth? Now, this was about 20 years ago, and at that time, he said $1.1 million, and he had a couple hundred thousand uh, encumbrance against the title. And he wanted to do a Chapter 7, and I said, no, you can't do a Chapter 7. Oh, well, wait a minute. Why not? This is my house. Well, first off, it's not your principal residence, so you wouldn't be able to exempt property. You would lose it. And secondly, I'm not going to file a petition if you don't disclose it. So I, what I did learn about uh, from that particular episode was that I need to find out early on in the case whether there are valuable assets that could change the direction of the case. And so I did wait a little too long to ask him about real property. We were already in the midst of preparing the petition, and I think in the first phone call, I should have asked him if he had any real property. So there was a, a lesson learned, but uh, in any event, no, I never filed a petition for it. I don't know whatever happened to him because it was a good 20 years ago, but he's, he was a nice guy just to have an unrealistic set of expectations. But I still get calls from other parts of the country. I'm very pleased that people are watching these videos in places like Florida or Mississippi or Michigan. Terrific. I cannot give you legal advice. Licensing of attorneys is done on a state-by-state -state basis. Yes, I understand bankruptcy is federal law, and it should be the same coast-to-coast. -coast. 
but the licensure is done on a state-by-state -state basis. And if, for example, you're in Michigan and you call me up and want legal advice, if I were to give you legal advice, I would be committing a crime. I would be practicing law without a license. Yes, I'm licensed to practice in California. I am not licensed to practice in Michigan, so I cannot give you legal advice. So while I'm pleased that you're enjoying these videos and I'll continue to make them, please don't call me if you're not in my area. So in my area, that is Los Angeles County and Orange County in California. And if you're in that area, give me a call. I'm happy to help out. But if you're not in that area, enjoy the videos, but I cannot help you.